converting numbers and other bases to base 10. Uh, this is an easy process. Remember what we mean when we write the number 673 in our base 10. 6 is the number of hundreds, 7 is the number of tens, and 3 is the number of ones. Well, 100 is 10 squared, so we can write this as 673 is 6 10 squared plus 7 tens plus 3 10 to the 0. Uh, 10 to the 0 is 1. And if we want to evaluate the number 673 base 8, we can do that simply by replacing the 10 in the above notation with an 8. So 673 base 8 is 6 times 8 squared plus 7 times 8 to the 1 power plus 3 times 8 to 0, or 6 times 74, plus 7 times 8, plus 3, which is 384, plus 56, plus 3, for a total of 343. Another example. Supposing we want to convert the number 543, base 6, to base 10. Well, 543 would be 5 6 squared plus 4 6 plus 3 1. So 6 squared is 36, so it's 5 times 36 plus 4 times 6 plus 3, or 180 plus 24 plus 3, or 180 plus 27, which is 207. Now, converting binary numbers to base 10 can be a little tedious because the numbers can be long. Recall that a binary number consists only of zeros and ones. Right, suppose we have the number 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, base 2. We want to convert that to a decimal number. We count the number of digits, and we see there's seven digits in that number. Now, because we start with 2 to the 0, the leftmost digit refers to the number of 2 to the 6. So we'll have 1 to the 6 plus 0 to the 5th plus 1 to the 4th plus 1 to cubed plus 0 to squared plus 1 to the 1 plus 0 to the 0. So that's 2 to the 6 plus 2 to the 4th plus 2 cubed plus 2. It's okay if you count on your fingers. 2 to the 6 is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. 2 to the 4th is 2, 4, 8, 16. 2 cubes is 8. And 2 to the 1th is 2. So we have 64 plus 16 plus 8 plus 2, which is 9. So the process is not hard. The only thing I would say is complication is for the long numbers like the ones in our binary, uh, just keeping track of things.